welcome. This video series will explain how to utilize the PACR Solutions Portal. This is the fifth episode in the series and covers understanding fault details. In this episode, we will cover fault code details. Let us look at all of the trucks in your group that have a ServiceNow recommendation. Click ServiceNow from the main dashboard. The map will display orange pins for trucks with ServiceNow recommendations. The colored circles or clusters indicate multiple trucks close by. Clicking a cluster will provide a list of VINs in that area. The pin colors match the recommendation. For example, green is for no action and blue is for informational. Clicking the orange pin on the map will display a pop-up window that shows VIN, recommendation, most severe, and most recent fault codes, software status, the last time it was updated, and if the vehicle has a combustion or battery electric drivetrain. Clicking on the VIN hyperlink will take you to the vehicle details page and should look familiar as we reviewed this in a previous episode. From here, you can scroll to the fault log, review active faults, and click the information icon to display the fault details. If you click on one of the fault codes in the pop-up box, it will take you directly to that fault detail. The fault detail page shows the recommendation, which is ServiceNow. Just below that is the event location. The event location is a bit different from the last location on the vehicle details page. The event location shows exactly when and where the fault occurred, freeing the driver from having to remember those details. You can click on the address and a green flag will show exactly where the fault was triggered. Additional information on the fault itself and a troubleshooting guide are provided. A fault occurrence count is shown on the right side of the screen. Fault information is translated into easy to understand language. This is a good way to identify if a driver is ignoring a fault code, which could impact the health of the vehicle. You are able to use this as a driver coaching opportunity to help reduce wear and unnecessary downtime. The troubleshooting guide includes a driver check indicator. If a green check mark appears, it means our engineering team believes the driver may be able to check and validate the issue. If a red X is displayed, it is best to have an authorized technician diagnose the issue. Moving back to the top of the screen, let us select snapshot data. There is a variety of graphs available to help diagnose the issue. The graphs provide 60 seconds of data before the fault was triggered and 10 seconds of data after the fault was triggered. The three closest dealership locations are listed under Authorized Dealers at the top of the Fault Details page. It is brand specific based on the vehicle that has thrown the code. Working together with your dealer, you can review the fault information remotely and develop a repair plan, whether that means the truck needs to come in right away or the truck is scheduled for service at a later date. Pro tip. Don't forget to select your preferred dealer or opt into dealer network monitoring. Last on this tab, select email. This tab represents the event information in a document form and was sent to the user to give information about the active fault. Thank you for watching the Understanding Fault Details episode. We created this video series to explain how to utilize the PACR Solutions Portal. To continue learning more, watch episode 6 in this series. Managing Subscriptions.